Good morning. We are at Eric's place, and yeah, as you can see, one, two, three. There's missing one uh, Land Rover, and it's in the garage. And uh, yeah, so today we con I'm continuing on the project discovery with some help and uh, changing out the EGR valves. And here you have me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Eric. Morning. Welcome. Yeah. So uh, I arrived yesterday and uh, yeah, it was good to see Eric again. It's been a long time now since... The it's been four months. Yeah, so the New Year's Eve trip. Happy. <coughs> oh, yeah. 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 So it was about time, so uh, yeah. Are you ready to uh, change some EGR valve? <sighs> yes. It's been a while since you've done it. At least three years, I think. Yeah. Maybe more. Yeah. Four years. Times time runs fast. Yeah. Can't remember. But I've never done it, so hopefully it's gonna go better with <laughs> with uh, <laughs> Eric uh, in charge. Yeah. There it is. The most beautiful land where we're in the in the garage. In the garage. <laughs> <laughs> Det är bra Battery. I got this from you, I think. Yeah, maybe you did. Yeah, when I we change out the um, we change out the hold, what's the name of it? Alternator. Oh, alternator, thank you. Long time ago. Yeah. Den här vrir
Nicht. Oi. Oi. Har du sett? Det er is. Eller bare rust. <laughs> rust. Det var ille. Ja, det var skikkelig ille. Så vi får jo gjøre noe med det der, Gann. Trenger du ut med den da? Nei, den slipper vi. For det går linje her. Det er den der da. Ja, den er gøy. Mm. Ok, så den er bare den siden. Ja. Okay, ja. Den tolken i hvert fall. Ja. med den. the bolt on the other side. <coughs> there are two nuts on top holding the pipe mm. and there are three oh, screws. And there are three screws. Mm. Uh, one, two, and the third one is down there too, somewhere. And you have two Torx, I think Torx 30, yeah. from this side and this side from the cooler. Yeah. They usually loosen the clip on the cooler so we can move the cooler. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to take everything just, loose. Just loose. Before um, we uh, yeah, do, the, do the inner one, I yeah. think. Yeah. It's, it's a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> That's the idea. Yeah. And on some, I think on the early cars, mm. the screw is from the front side and not from the back. Yeah, because that thing what I have read, that one is really difficult to get to. Yeah, it really depends. Yeah. So first now we're going to take the pipe, then we can have a look inside. Yeah. And uh, we're going to take the connector, which is here. And probably do both sides, and then we start disassembling on one side. And yeah. then finish that side before yeah. we continue. Yeah. Yep. So we... So when they blank the jar valve, they just remove this pipe and add a, a, cover. a cover there and up here. And also remove the butterfly uh, valve which just sits in here. Um, and you can do this without getting uh, the warning lamp inside of the engine, uh, in, inside. In the dash on 05, 06, I think. Mm. From 07, late 07. You can't. You can't. Yeah. Then you need a real um, a software to. to it's your removable software. Yeah. And if you got DPF, you can't blank because the DPF use, uh, are used to, uh, to regenerate the DPF, I think. To get the heat up. Oh, they have to stay closed. But uh, yeah, okay. But if you you need to do something with the jar anyway, you can yeah. If you like, so. Okay. Yeah. Why would you do that? I don't know. 
So I opted to change out the EGR valves and not blank uh, you know, because keeping the car legal and also when you blank yeah, you have to remove the the butterfly valve and if you do that and uh, you get oil in if the turbo fails and you get oil and you start running on oil yeah, there's nothing to, to kill it mm. Det är egentligen en sån huck, men uh, en sån här i vinkel. Yeah. Ja, jag har med det. Det är inte. Det är nog kommer att vara jävligt värt det jag har. Ja, det är det, men jag vet inte vad jag gör här. Så den här var knäckt. Nej, okej. Broken. Broken. Ja, du tar den, den och den. Ja. Den, ja. Så blir det. Jag vet inte. Och så dukar den här. Du dukar den där. Ja. And that's the EGR valve on this side. And I see in other videos, or I have seen in one video that they removed the, the, the uh, removed the AC lines. Yeah, AC lines. So then you need to uh, tap it down or empty for. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And then you need, need a license, so we're not gonna do that. We need a machine. To and you need a machine as well. Yeah. To recover and vacuum and refill. Yeah. So you can't do that here. So I recommend getting new clips when you're doing this job because they can bend and uh, get ruined. Yeah. Because the new one. Maybe this are uh, used to. And you want it closed. Yeah, okay. It's new, but it's a bit too closed, so. Maybe we can use it maybe. Yeah, so. If you have this hook, it's easier to, to close it. On this guy. Yeah, okay. So that pushes in. This should be here and it should be closed. This hook yeah, okay, should be yeah, okay. in this. Then it's easier. Yeah. So. So we put the hook on. Here we go. Should be in here. Not too bad. No. Yeah, the gasket on there. Yeah. Which I hope you have a new one. Yeah, I have new gaskets for every end. <laughs> uh, you can see the valve, the valve stem, yeah. and the valve down there. So this is the side. This is the, the left side is one getting the um, air meshes. Yeah. So this is the one that's actually broken. This is closed for now. Mm. Sometimes you can see they're stuck open. 
Yeah, so I'm getting, I can, if I reset, I can restart about three or four times without getting the, the error message. Mm. And then it comes on. Mm. After, uh, so I started up and then two or three seconds, it the uh, light came on. Yeah. So you're gonna remove the dipstick. Yeah. Uh, bolt down here. So I'm not gonna remove it, but we're gonna push it to the side. We're gonna remove this torque screw. And there's another one down here. I can't see, then you can't see it either, I think. Then take a clip on the cooler here. And there, I think there are this bracket needs, yeah. needs to come off too. Yeah. Uh, so we can. Uh, I know somebody are taking the coolant hoses and taking the coolant cooler and the GR valve out as one complete assembly. I normally don't do that, but. What do you normally do? I normally leave the cooler. Okay, don't remove the cooler. I just loosen it. Yeah. And we let the cooler stay. Yeah. And we take the valve. Yeah. Mm. If everything goes to, to plan. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't look too rusted. The bolts look No, there are some... Good. This has been... Your engine has been treated with some... Uh, some uh, anti-rust proofing, I think, at some point. Okay. This looks to be... Some black stuff. Yeah, so uh, I had it. Uh, yeah, so it's been uh, treated with the Dinatrol, I think. So yeah. I but I don't think. I don't know. Strange that it should be all, all up here, but yeah, if they've been it, in the. Uh, it, it usually is. Yeah. So, <laughs> so if they, they have done the wheel well, they yeah, probably have they gotten spilled, some. Spilled yeah. something. Yeah. And there are, of course, the screws underneath. Into the uh, block. Yeah, down here is one. So this pipe is kind of in the way. Yeah, so there is one there, and one underneath there, yeah. and then it's the, the one in the front. Three. Yeah. Usually you will see that one of them are missing. Okay. Because the last, last technician didn't bother to. Yeah, so they, do they, the extra work. The one underneath here needs to come out with the GR valve. Yes, yeah. and you need to also put it in with the GR valve. Yeah, so if you forgot that, you... Then it's, it's missing. <laughs> Some cars is missing. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So I'm going to put on a T. 10 mil. Yeah. There are two. Mm, two ten mils. Um. Skal du nøkkelen passe, ja da. Nei, jeg tok ikke med skal du nøkkelen. So I love the, the ratchet uh, spanners, they save you a lot of time. But I'm definitely looking into a Milwaukee uh, electric uh, wrench. <laughs> so, uh, if you have me, you don't need electric. <laughs> One and there's one above it. Yep. That's the two dipstick bolts. Okay, so you can bend it uh, away. Mm. Yeah. Those are eight mil. Yeah. I think the third one is. Uh, where's my. It's here. 
Yep. One, two, three. This is actually not too bad. So the reason why we need to remove the cooler is to get to the actually get to the to this bolt here. Yeah. So the 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 one bolt in behind there, which is connecting the cooler to the EJR valve. Yes. Yeah. So also see the blank in between the EGR and the block. Mm. So you just put a plate in between there. Then the mechanism in the EGR valve don't get suited up. Yeah. It's on and still works, but. Uh, so this job is good to have small hands. I don't normally have small hands. <laughs> the screws are quite long. So it's easy to drop them. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit difficult to get to and stopping against the EGR valve, but you're yeah, it's turning. Mm. So these are not rusty at all. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Normally they are quite corroded. Okay. I think I got new ones as well. Yeah. Because this central part here between the threads and yeah. the head can be completely corroded away. And you will end up getting them out, but you won't be happy using them again. Yeah. So that's the bolt we need to leave in. Or yes, because this, this stops here. Yeah. So this is freed. That's the end of the end of the road. Yeah. And this guy. So I use use loosen it with a uh, with this guy to yeah. get a, get a better angle. But we can't leave it on because it will bottom out. And you see normal spanner. Yeah. But since they are the bolts, maybe it's been changed before. Uh, how many cases have you done? 205. I've probably changed two or three times already. <laughs> yeah, I haven't changed it. You haven't? Yeah, but you have been doing one and a half years with engine warming up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> it should have been changed. On and off again. On and off again. Yeah. Off and on again. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I, they, it came on, uh, I had a uh, loss of power at the low range, like typical uh, faulty. Yeah. Then I filled like premium diesel, which have like a cleaning effect, yeah. and it went away for uh, six months, I think, and yeah. then it came back. Yeah. So it has been on and off for, uh, um, yeah, I'm guessing a year now. I usually sneak it somewhere, so it's easy to find. Yeah. <laughs> you did there? <laughs> if you don't lose it, it's not a problem. Yeah. I'm not going to ask where you stuck it, so... Because if you drop it there, it, it goes down to the sump. Probably somewhere. Yeah. And it's not the easiest to pick up with the fingers because these bolts are so long. You need to come out all the way. So yeah, you need to kind of okay. get yeah. your fingers past this and put it up. Yeah. So did you have a magnet on the grill? Yeah, I do. Uh, we can also use some pliers. Yeah, so it, oh, oh, oh. maybe it doesn't go out. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't go anywhere. 
Okay, so that's it. It, it, it hits the pipe. Okay. One, two. Well, what's the pipe underneath there? That's, that's, uh, that's an intercooler pipe. Turbo pipe. Okay. So both those aren't coming out, so we need to... Uh, uh, one of them are probably coming out when we just tilt it yeah, okay. a bit. So we need to be careful. Yeah. Uh, so next step is the... We can do the connectors, but the cooler. This, this side. Mm. Next step is the cooler. We can do this bolt. That's a. I think it's Torx. Torx 30. The idea is to get a, a extension, which is. Perfect play length. Yeah. This is a bit too long, so we're hitting the firewall in here. So a bit shorter one. Yeah, I have one in my. Uh, uh, yeah. There are. There are plenty. Okay, so isn't it easier to take off the cooler first, and then isn't it loose then? Uh, perhaps you can do it that way. I, I don't know. Okay, but it's gonna maybe gonna hit on this side. Mm -hmm. There are millions of different ways of doing it. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just. Uh Normal long extension, not the extra long. Blue mm -hmm. Yeah, so then you go Hmm? Yeah, Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Don't drop the boat. Don't drop the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Should I get the welding magnet? No, this I can use my hands. Lots of space. Here we go. Because I don't think I have new bolts for that one. I'm not sure. No. Uh, you could manage with normal six mil bolts, yeah. but it's it is a bit easier with the torque yeah. torx headed screws. And the screws are holding up. Yeah. So we're gonna <laughs> take a look at the rear bracket. It should be yeah. Which are I think three bolts or two bolts. I don't know if there's one underneath. There's, um, there's this guy. Yeah, and, and there's one on the on the wall here. I s seem to remember there's one more. Well, let's see. Is there one down on the other side? Me? No, I can't feel it. So that's still stuck. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So there's one underneath the bracket, which holds. The, so the bracket is for something else, but the, the one you're introducing now is for actual cooler. Um. Where is it? Both. I think there's an angle iron or something. But this is for the pipe so this underneath. This is for yeah. That's for the pipe. Mm. 
Yeah, and this is just an angle. Yeah. So, saved. So, this way. <clears throat> and then the only thing is the... The clamp. The clamp. Yeah. So it's the same clamp that's on the pipes that goes up to the, uh, the inlet. Yeah. So in theory we could reach the bolt. Without removing the clamp? Yeah. If if you would like to, I think. But the hard bit is putting it back in. Yeah. Because you need to not drop the bolt all the way in. So now I saw a trick about using plastic. I've used tape. Yeah. I've taped the bolt to the yeah to the tool. Yeah. And when you finish, you just pull off the yeah okay off the tape. Uh, so you're gonna take the take the uh, clip. Yeah. This uh, where's the big screw? your screwdriver somewhere. So the hard part is getting the clip on again afterwards. Yes. If you don't have a special tool. Or uh, use, you can use two pliers and it will be good. So we can show that later. Mm. It's tight. It's definitely tight. Yeah, it is tight. <laughs> it's cylinder or it's yeah. hopeless. Uh, the, the engine placement on Discovery is... Uh, yeah. We don't need to say much more. No. I'm looking forward to you changing out the turbo. Yeah. <laughs> need a bigger garage. I need a lifter. Yeah. <laughs> So, you could loosen the hoses. Yeah. There's one here and one at the back somewhere. Because you need an inlet and an outlet. Underneath, maybe it's. Here, here it is. Down there. <clears throat> so, you could loosen both those hoses and take everything out as an assembly. And then do the nut. But then you have to bleed the cooling system and it. Yeah, there, I think it's more hassle and it will get. Yeah, so it's difficult to get the pipe on. Uh, we could probably do the pipe from the wheel arch. The bolt is loose now, the one. Yeah, yeah. That's, the, so it's, that's the risk. It's about to drop out now. Yep. Yeah. So we're going to take some pliers. <laughs> <laughs> some long nose pliers. Oh, saved! <laughs> so getting that in again, I think, is the difficult part. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. So we're we using long extension shorts. 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 Short ones. Yeah. Yeah, but it's a combination of finding the right length on the extensions so you can go in here, I think. Yeah. We can you can bend it backwards a bit. Yeah, we'll 
Kolm, vi skal prøve å dra litt ut og sånt. Det kan ikke være mer enn Newton, sånn at... Det hjelper at den siste teknikken gjorde sin jobb, og ikke overtøyde den. Det ville være bra å se et serialnummer på EGR-valve, og se hvordan det ble gjort. Ja. Skal jeg holde og skru det fra han? Jeg klarer den egentlig sånn sånn. Det var den siste bolten. Ok. So I think the last block bolt just dropped down. Yeah, I did. Mm. Question is, do we find it again? Yeah, I can see it. It's down here. Oh, in the minutes, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So you probably leave the bolt yeah. and rush it in. Just turn the direction. Yeah. Yeah. So this this can stay there. No. Yep. Okay, you get the new power. Uh, you guys get. Yeah. Do we need to clean the uh, connection or? No, not really too much. You see on this side it looks like it's uh, almost been leaking. Car uh, carbon. Mm. No, it's not, it's not leaking because it's filled with the uh, yeah. carbon deposit. Yeah. So it's... You see on top here it maybe should be just clean off a bit. I don't know. It will be fine. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Perfectly fine. I will come back. <laughs> <laughs> New yeah. gasket. So the area with the fault that usually you get is that it uh, stays open, won't close, or, or it is too too hard for it to move. Yeah. And normally it's you can have the disc falling off. Okay. And because all the carbon deposit building up here, yeah. so it doesn't want to go in. Yeah. The, the electric motor is actually quite strong. Uh, so you will. We'll try. We can totally break break this. Yeah. Okay. So which brand is this? This is the same. This has been changed uh, with uh, Avaleo is UAM, so it's not bad. It's actually UAM, so it's uh, you can check the part number later and see which generation maybe it is. So the newest uh, newest EGR valve from Land Rover is. Uh, Do you remember the part number? 
LR something uh, 93 or 94. <coughs> something on your screen. Yeah. I have it here. Yeah, well, I uh, can take them out. I don't remember which one is the left and the right side, so we need to check it out. But uh, maybe they are, they are visually different. Okay. This is our two new ones. What's my bottom one point was that Land Rover are the newest generation of uh, EGR valves. Mm -hmm. So they, if they find faults with them, they renew them and then. The, uh, Land Rover has the newest one, the and, and the OEM is the second generation. Oh no, the, the generation before that, is mm -hmm. probably. Okay. This, so this, this looks quite similar. Yeah. That's the left one. New and shiny. That's the right one. Okay, so where is the left one? Huh? Let's well, well, just see on the where the connection are. You see here the, yeah, the, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. this this guy. Yeah. Okay, so you can see on this, and you also can see where the the bolt mounting holes are. Mm. Okay, this is the same. Yeah. And that's the right one, and that's the right one ends with a 24. Let's see if we can get that. Valeo? Mm -hmm. What? Valeo is making parts for Land Or for what? PSA. So it could be original. What? Yes, yeah, so this is OM, but it could be from Land or it could be from Valeo factory itself. Because Land Rover doesn't make this themselves, they're buying parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or is this, this is a PSA engine, actually. Peugeot Citroën Renault yeah. engine. French. But you can get Valeo OEM. For cheaper. Much cheaper. Yeah. So half the price from uh, if you don't buy from a Land Rover. But uh, yeah. I had to buy it from Land Rover, but that's a different story. Uh, we will see how that turns out. There may be a rant on this channel. Do you have a gasket somewhere? Yeah. Um, So I tried to get all the new gaskets. So I have all the new gaskets, but I tried also to get all the new bolts. Uh, because when putting on new parts, I want to put on a new, uh, new everything. Yeah. So, uh, new gasket. Yes. Yeah. New bolts. So I'm, yeah, so I got the new mounting. Okay, let's give it a shot. Mm. Six, yeah. Mm. I have a silver tire. Can I have a silver tire? Yeah. Okay, so um, well, the gaskets are the same on both sides. Yeah, they're just yeah, yeah. A different way, maybe. <laughs> And I also went for uh, four new clamps because you don't know <laughs> if they're going to break or not. Just quickly use the rag to clean off the the end of the cooler, and then putting on the the gasket. The gasket. So uh, we left in the bolt, or Eric left in the bolt, uh, with the ratchets on. This way we can hook up the, the new gasket. 
we have to drop in. Hmm. And we need our EGR valve. Screwdriver. Mm. Oh, we need to put in one bolt, I think, or we, we can't uh, get it to enter. The lowest one. Uh, we need to. We will uh, enter this bolt first, and then we will try to enter it. I think. Oh, we could leave it. No problem. Do you want new one or used one? Uh, you can one. use the used one on top. The one on the worst one. To use two new ones on bottom. Yeah, right then, or the other. Yeah, there's still it, eh? No, there were... There were no mistake. Right. We set the bag off. So we're gonna... Yeah. I'm gonna be a drop out, right? Yeah. I'm gonna do that, Okay. Men, eh? Det är en som må i, i fall, for å få den i. Det må gå ned i lammet. Men jeg kan sjekke videoen, da. Jeg kan sette inn to, så jeg vet hva som blir. There is one bolt that needs to be entered before we... Uh... I'm not sure which one. I think it's the lowest one on the front or in the nearest the cooler. Yeah. Need to remember that one, mm. or else you're not starting. Hold this rod, eh? Hold this rod, eh? Yeah, let's get on. Jeg tror du må holde deg bolta. Ja, det er mistet. Hæ? Jeg fikk den litt langt ut nå. Ja, bare ta det ut og så har vi... Jeg kan finne ut hvordan bolta må være. Nå er det greit det her. Det er nok nederste, tror jeg, som må være der. Så nå må den bolten din litt ut da, med skralda. Ok, ja. Det skal få det. Da er den opp, så skal den ned. Det er nå ikke så langt unna. Ok. Okay, so we decided to connect the cooler to the EGR valve and then see if we can get the, the, the bolts to enter into the, uh, the block. Hopefully we put in the right bolt that needs to be in first. Yeah, so the EGR valve is mounted. Yeah, so mm. let's put in back the bolt step. But one, take one. <laughs> is these bolts fastened? Yep. Or, yeah, yeah they're, they're, that's finished. That's finished, okay. So you only need to worry about getting that bolt in. Yeah. Come 
Das sieht nicht aus wie ein Ja. Okay, go in. Now we need to get move it down so this bolt here will enter. Oops. That's it. Då ska den i teorin ska den det ut då. Nu ska vi. Men där kan det ut den där så. Nej, det är det där ut. Ja, så vi måste skrus in först. Nu åt det var det. Mm, tror blir finger först det. Mm. Så. En tre. Ja. Yeah, so basically the, this, the, the forward bolt, the front, the front, front lower bolt needs to be in. You put it in the EGR valve or mounting it to the, the cooler. Because of the turbo pipe, or was it? Yeah, intercooler. Intercooler, intercooler turbo pipe. So those two are in. Then we can just enter the last one, and then we have the clamp in the rear. On the rear. Yeah. Uh, top uh, used bolt. The best looking used bolt. Best looking used bolt. I think I have one. Do you remember any used from before? I have used two used. Yeah. No, they're all also used. Yeah. Oh yeah. Call health and uh, safety. Yeah. That's the hard part. Yeah, so the rear clamp there is going to be difficult. Mm, for us to get a hook in then. Mm. For my clamp. Yeah. Mm. For the stone and metal, so they are doing for hand with hand. For hand. It's a preferred way you should do it. Uh, after. I can't remember. <laughs> Please. So that's almost done. Oh yeah, so you can do it by hand? No, mm -hmm. I, I couldn't. Okay. But it's, it's, it's important to, to squeeze on the lower parts and not on the top. Okay, because, because if you bend this, this guy won't, won't lock yeah, okay. on top. So if you're just pushing like this, yeah. it's not going to work. Okay. I'm going to camera out, so I'm going to see No. Jeg hadde en sånn hestesko-tang, så det gjorde sånn klemt. Med en litt mindre versjon av den. Ja. Den er mye litt også. Men du får ikke den inn ut. Du kunne kappet den. Så hadde det vært perfekt, du kan gjøre det. Men jeg tror det er broderen sin. Du fikk den inn. Jeg må bare kjøpe den ut, da. Jeg setter den der.
Hvordan det lønn? Ja, det er det er så vidt at du... Altså, den er helt oppe... Det er fordi... Den skal sammen, da. Ja, den skal jo sammen. Nok press på den, egentlig. Der. Det må være den. Ok. Det var en typisk klikk, ja. Ja, det er noe på. Woho! Great, Erik. Well, this worked. Ja. A version which is half the size is perfect for that job. I don't know where it is anymore. I have one which was really perfect. We're just gonna assemble the rear um, bracket, yeah. dipstick, and tighten the three bolts and the connector. Okay, so now uh, HR is in, uh, connected to the cooler, we got the clamp on in the rear, and we put on the bracket. So there's two bolts, one connected the, connects the bracket and the cooler into the block and there's another one connects the hose. Connects the hose. Okay, yeah. so we now we're gonna tighten the three bolts on the front. Yeah. And we're gonna do the dipstick. Woohoo! Really interesting video this one. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of editing. And uh four hours so mm -hmm. <laughs> your all valve changed minute by minute. <laughs> different so we find the different things interesting so let's uh, you know, it's spinning yep if you move there a little point in the trunk process yep Three bolts are tightened. Dipstick next. Det var da på den andre. Kjøl den. Der og der. Så det skal starte etterpå. Det er helt trykk sånn sånn. Diesel, helt trykk. Ja. Full. Rail pressure. Klikk. Klikk. Sånn. Hvis den da venter det.
Der. Da er det litt av knegret som er stramme. Da får vi bruke det. Okay, so everything is done down here. Uh, the EGR pipe is connected to uh, the EGR, and we need to put on the clamp on top here. This is the same clamp that's down underneath uh, on the cooler. So probably easier to video. So we can <laughs> now actually show what's going on. Uh, Hi. You need to clamp it all the way down. Uh, you need to put the force down here and not on top here. Then you just bend the, the clamp. And yeah. That easy. Yeah. So you can hear the distinct sound of click. <laughs> if you don't have that one, you can use something like this on the bottom and use a this normal one here that will work too mm. yeps so left side done woohoo yeah good for you yeah so now the car actually is fixed with the left side done and uh, yeah, because you only had the issue on the left one. I only had the issue on the left one, but when changing out the left one, just change out the right one as well. Especially when someone else is doing it for you. Yeah. <laughs> now it is. While you're at it, it's easier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 I think this one has more access. Yeah. Um, you could of course do the current lines. Mm. Do some draining. Uh, yep. But this we don't have to remove the cooler. Yeah, we need to. Because this bolt is even further in here. Yeah, okay. First one and the second one is way back there. But I think we're gonna take this uh, cover. Yeah, but uh, can't you just you use um, extensions from behind? Yeah, there? maybe. I can't remember. I think uh, it's a long time since I've done this. Yeah, so if you remove the... If you only the remove... Yeah, we only the bracket here mm. on the cooler, I think. Then with the right Extensions, you can do it in the blind, but it's gonna be really hard to get one in again. Yeah, uh, uh, we'll see. Okay, update from Eric's garage. We have uh, finished up with the left hand side EGR valve, so that's uh, all complete, mounted, and, uh, and fixed. So the discovery is actually fixed now because there was the left hand side which was failing. But going to do the change on the other side as well because it probably won't be long before that one gets uh, blocked up and uh, start showing the error message in the display again so yeah but going in to take some uh, to have some lunch uh, need to get some food and also a cup of coffee and then we're going to continue on the right side and hopefully it's going to go even quicker uh, this time I think we spend about two and a half hours on the left side, uh, but it takes a bit longer when filming and yeah. So yeah, lunch and then 
the other EGR.